In the small alpine country of Slovenia, winter snow is slowly melting away, accompanied by spring showers that raise the river levels. The main rivers pick up some glacier silts and become a big color. It is a perfect time to target one of the most mysterious and biggest species of trout, marble trout. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Marble trout is a predatory fish. As when it reaches, usually, let's say, when it reaches 50 centimeters, it becomes strictly carnivorous. That means that it only eats other fish. Um, up to 50 centimeters, it's possible to catch on an inf or even on a dry fly if the conditions are suitable. I would think that Usually the best time to catch the marble trout is the worst of times to come. Because that basically means that you need to risk it a little bit on rain and high water level, an environment or the river that is not actually so pretty. So in these times you can forget about nymphs and dry flies and all that stuff, but concentrate just on streamers. So it's basically quite often it would happen, those would be the times when other fishermen would be sitting in the bar drinking wine because and soaking their sorrows. To come and enjoy nature and maybe nymph, maybe with a dry fly, if a storm appears, streamer, okay, of course, it's basically anything between April and the last of October, the most guaranteed that the rivers will be low, clear, that, you know, you can see fish, it's probably first part of April and from middle June, well, till November. When the sun becomes stronger and temperatures rise, life springs from every corner, starting the cycle of life. The hatches also change from midges to upwing flies, Marble trout are possibly the smartest species of trout and can easily distinguish between a natural blue-winged olive and its parachute imitation. A lot comes down to the skills of the fishermen and the guide's help to know which fly to use and where fish will potentially be rising. In May and June, alpine rivers like the Soka and Sava have snow melt, so we spend more time on chalk streams located in the southern part of the country. Hatches of spinners and mayflies are so prolific that we have to move away from heavy hatches to be successful. Once a common sight throughout the world, now only few places remain with these hatches, and luckily Slovenia is one of them. The chalk streams are famous for indigenous bigger brown trout, grayling, and the introduced rainbow trout.
When the spring hatches slowly fade away on the chalk streams, we head back to the Alps and the gin clear freestone rivers. In summer, grayling, browns, and rainbow trout are mostly feeding on midge and non-hatching flies like scuds. Large tubifex colonies are a great food source for large wild rainbow and brown trout that can be found in cold alpine lakes, perfect to fish for in the summer when levels are low and clear. The summer temperatures slowly drop and autumn hatches of blue-winged olives start. Besides the fish, dippers look for an easy meal before the cold winter. At the end of October, the trout season ends, and it is an exciting time for Hucho. Hucho family is the world's biggest river resident salmonid in Europe. Hucho, Huchan, even called Danube salmon, inhabits Black Sea Basin. Its Asian cousin, Hucho taimen, inhabits Russia and Mongolia. 
Hucho Perry is a subspecies found in Sakhalin Island, Russia and Japan and is known to migrate into the sea. In Europe, fishing for Hucho is reserved for the winter due to spring spawning. It is allowed to spin or fly fish. Generally, fly or lure needs to be presented close to the bottom where they feed on other fish. Due to its size, intelligence and feeding pattern, they are the most special species of fish I have encountered, making them crown jewel of most fishermen's career. Clouds cover the sky, and the autumn rain turns into snow. The countryside gets covered by a white powdery blanket. Steelhead fishermen would understand there is nothing like cold, crisp mountain air. 12 weight rod in hand. Halfway between hunting and fishing, stocking for world's biggest river resident Salmonid in the crystal clear rivers of Slovenia is an exhilarating experience on its own.